good morning. It is Saturday, our last day up here. Northern Wisconsin, slamming some walleyes. Camped out here last night. Camped out here the past three nights, actually. But it was a good night last night. We absolutely slayed them, so I'm hoping for a very good morning bite. My main goal for this morning is to get a bunch of jigging for you guys, but that's about it. Because the last videos were literally us running around like animals, chasing tip-ups. That's okay, that's fun. But, I'm going to punch a few holes, set up the iFish Pros, put my bibs on, and get to jigging. So I'll stay freaking tuned, we'll catch some wild eyes. Alright, we were jigging. Castmaster, golden black, with a meaner head. See how much damage you could do this morning. Just got the tip up set up. We're just about to put the GoPro on my back, sorry. And we got a flag. Oh, this is way up to the side. Hooked up. Oh yeah. First while of the day, didn't even start jigging yet. Seems like how this trip has been going. Oh yeah, first one of the morning. See ya. Thank you. All right. Don't want to bring me a minute. Is the vex down right away? Oh, shit moved. Yeah. Always moves. Nice. Hey, good job. That was quick. <laughs> this tip up is that is on that hole right next to that huge weed edge. Which is and this one's definitely been producing more. Good to go. This tip up just went off through. It's your time. Oh, it's your big 38. Oh, he's coming. I got it. Drew, you get another try. He literally just set up that tip up after losing that one. Oh, I thought I'd like it. Still there. Stop. Nice. Nice way to start the day. Oh yeah. There's your redemption right away. So First one for Drewby this morning. 16 inches start yep. off the day. That's a See ya. On, oh, he's got it. Water release. That's <laughs> how you do it, folks. All right, I'll grab you a shiner. There you go. I'm gonna go back to jigging. We're kind of set up on two high percentage areas. Over here is kind of like a rock bar. There were, this tip up's kind of on, on the edge of it. There's also weeds on top of it. And way over there, we had a tip up last night. That's completely rocks. It's all a rock bar. We set it up from a sand to rock transition. And then where the shanty is and the tip ups over there are on weed edges. We found with the underwater camera. If you want a good wally bite, it's key to be on a structure or something underwater where they're gonna funnel through to look for some beat.
Drew, a tip up just went off. I was literally just about to say all three of our tip ups went off already. Yeah, we're marking a few, so they're definitely in the area. Swimming around this weed edge. Hey. What's up? Just chasing. I fish bros. Oh yeah. oh yeah, he's there. Hooked up. That's why I say about that. This bobber always moves off the mother. Ooh. One little fight. Yeah. This is by more weed, so you're Ooh. likely to get some northern. Oh, he choked it. Yep. I'm surprised I didn't snap off. I'm gonna go get the flutter. Yeah. He is fast. Wow. That is gone. It's probably a 26, 27 inch northern. Golly, don't stir it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he was hooked really deep and I went through the gills to get the hook out. Otherwise, we definitely would have had to cut it. See ya. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retie this, anyways. Alright. That one's set. Ready for a while out this time. So that's the rock, right? At Tipa Pool? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Nope. Nope. Got to dip up. Got him. Nice little dude. What was that? That was on the shiny or? Still alive? Maybe. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nicer one. Oh yeah. It's feisty. Mm. You know, it's so hard to hold them by the belly. You just want to get... That's a, that's a nice one, probably Very nice. 20 incher. Nice and fat. I'm gonna get this girl right back. Oh yeah. Nice. What are you gonna do for breakfast? Pancakes and sausage? Yeah. Like 10.30 again or what? Yeah. 9.30? You know what we don't have? What? Syrup. So I'm gonna do pancakes tomorrow morning and then get some extra shirt. That's a great idea. So sausage and cereal this morning? Good bacon. Oh yeah, we have good bacon. You know, when you're fishing a big body of water like this, that's a walleye factory like this like is, 
you know, there's always going to be people that, other people that fish it, right? Like, a lot of people. This is a pretty big lake, so it's good, but... When everybody comes here, besides, like, the regulars that know the good spots, they're pretty much just going to look at all the juicy spots they see on Navionics, like the main lake points and, like, the humps and stuff. Everybody's going to fish those spots. So, <clears throat> what we kind of do, we look at, like, little little fingers and little shoreline structures that people aren't really going to target because it just looks like a normal boring shoreline but if you look at all these fingers and you find a good like weed edge or rock pile those spots can produce a lot of fish especially because they've never been fished like this there's over a foot of a foot of ice on this lake and there's no holes around this spot anywhere and we're covering a lot of water right now and we're catching a lot of fish so Just a little tip to get on fish on bigger pressured bodies of water. Get away from all the people, try spots that haven't been fished before. Usually pays off. We took we took the time to find some weed edges and it definitely paid off. Joe, this dip up just went off. Oh, he's taken. Oh my gosh. He's... Got him. Dude, he was taking a line like crazy, dude. Like, this could be a northern. He was just running and running. I don't know. It's got some weight. the northern and he broke me at the hole it was feeling like a northern yeah this could be 30 i bet you it's 30 it's a skinnier one i got my players on me i got players right here He almost got away with another treble hook. We lost some treble hooks this trip, that's for sure. It's a nice slime ball. <laughs> 28, pretty much. Nice fish. Wow. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. it on the tuned up? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. That was really fun. That's a nice rod. Yep. Okay. Hell yeah. Last shiner going down. There's one more baby one there. Oh, one more tiny one. So we've gone through... How many did you get this last trip? Three dozen. So we've gone through six dozen shiners. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty easy. And three dozen suckers? Or two dozen? Two dozen. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. Well, just threw some bacon on the grill. Or the stove top, I should say. After that, I'm running into town. Grab some supplies for tonight. Like some more minners, because we ran out again. Second time we had to go back to get minners. I'm not gonna complain about that though. But, back to what I was saying earlier in the video about all these people coming out to this lake. Like if you're fishing a big walleye factory lake like we are right now. People coming out to all, pretty much the prime looking spots on Navionics. And cause I'm looking at guys right now and I'm looking at Navionics and they're all on spots that look good on Navionics. And then the spot we're set in, or set up in, it doesn't really look like a spot, like a go-to spot. We just found a weed edge on it and it's a really good spot. But this actually, there's a main point I'm looking at across the lake right now. And there's actually two dudes set up on it. And the first time that we came here last week, we set up on that same point because it looked really good on Navionics. 
set up there for the morning bite and we didn't catch a single fish. He said we got to switch something up so we tried something new and found some spots that don't really look like spots on avionics. There's some, there's just some good underwater structure and it definitely paid off. But it's been a little slower this morning than the past evenings and mornings, but that's all right. We still caught a few fish. Oh God. I think maybe like three or four walleyes and then a couple northern. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and then I'm gonna should probably flip this bacon. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll probably just go get some minners and then come back and enjoy the last night out here. Probably won't film. Just enjoy chasing some flags. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.